wonder hussy here. Still cruising around Colorado, hunting another hot spring. And I think I just got to it. Now, it's a really hot day today in a really hot part of Colorado. I don't know about you, but when I think of Colorado, I always think of the Rocky Mountains, you know, 10,000 foot peaks and crystal clear, ice cold alpine lakes. Well, all of Colorado ain't quite like that. And I'm in one of the hotter parts. I think it's, oh gosh, my car said it was like in the 90s. So it's kind of a weird, a weird kind of day to be going to a hot spring. And for that matter, well, there is one other car here. So I can't imagine anybody else would be as crazy as me. But apparently, well, somebody is. So I'm going to have to go into crocodile hunter mode and sneak up on this hot spring and see if I can shoot any footage without pissing anybody off. Now, I don't know if this is one of them there nudie hot springs, but just in case it isn't, I'm going to go ahead and put on my swimsuit, <laughs> which is ironic because I actually just went to a different hot spring this morning and I was wearing my swimsuit and I changed out of it. <laughs> Silly me. There, I'm decent. Dang it, an adventure van just pulled up. Oh, I'll bet you anything they're going to the hot springs. That doesn't bode well for me being able to shoot any footage whatsoever of this little soak, but I'll do my best. Okay, I don't know what those people in that van are doing. They're just kind of sitting there in the parking lot, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed down to the hot spring and see what I can see. I mean, it's right off the side of the highway here, down a very steep trail. Don't wanna sneak up on any naked people. Here it is. And I don't think there's anyone here. Looks like we got one pool and two pools. Oh, look how cute this one is. Okay, well, it does look like I have the hot spring all to myself, if only for a few minutes. Another van just pulled up. So I'm sure it won't be long before I'm joined by all manner of interesting naked, well, hopefully naked people. Let me just go ahead and dip in real quick before they get here. Let me try the big pond first. Beautiful natural rock lined pool right at the base of this kind of like hillside, lots of grasses. I don't know, it just looks hot. That could just be because it's a hot day though. Let's see. Ooh, ah, 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 ooh. Okay, that is hot. Uh, I know it's a hot day, but I'm gonna guess the water temperature is at least 103, maybe 104. That's hot. No one's coming yet? Okay, let me go try the other pool real quick. <laughs> I always feel like Goldilocks when I do this. See if this one's any cooler. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, ooh, ha, ah. Okay, this one's pretty hot too, dang it. I mean, not dang it. I love a nice hot, hot spring, but well, on a hot day like today, I was hoping for once there'd be one that was kind of lukewarm. Maybe there is. You know, the trail does continue on uh, back there into the reeds. So I'll go check that, in, that out in a minute, but I do, even though it's hot, I'm going to dip in here while I have the chance, and I'm going to do it without this. This is hot, but it's not unbearable, and it'll probably feel really good once I get out, you know? On a hot day like today, it'll cool me off. Okay, but now I'm curious how the other one feels. I mean, it did feel hot when I first put my foot in it, but, well, this one felt a little bit cooler when I got in, so that might be the case with this other one. Let me see if I can sneak a quick dip in here before anybody shows up. <laughs> By the way, I'm standing naked right at the side of the highway. How about that? <sighs> yeah, it's hot. But it would be pretty friggin' nice on a cooler day. And this would be amazing at night. 
you know, the stars would be out of control. We are kind of near a sizable town, but I don't think it's like a huge town. I don't know Colorado that well, and I won't say the name of it to preserve the mystery of this hot spring, making sure no one's coming. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm the only one crazy enough to go to a hot spring when it's 90 degrees outside. What the hey, it's after one o'clock. Cheers. Looks like there's like a separate little tub back here. I wonder if that one's like even hotter. Let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like it is because look, the source is bubbling out from back there in the corner. Oh my God, I can't believe, oh, I can't even get in there. It's too hot. Ah, ah, ah. That's gotta be at least 106. I don't have my thermometer with me. It's in the car and I sure don't want to go back and get it. Take my word for it, that is hot. Now, that being said, if I was here in the winter time, you know, I'm in Colorado, I think we're at probably at least six, 7,000 feet, I'll have to check. I'm sure they get tons of snow up here and sitting in that super hot pond in the snow would be amazing. Officially added to my bucket list. Okay, I just checked my altimeter and we are at about not even 6,000 feet, so that explains why it's so freaking hot here. I mean, last night I camped, or day before yesterday, I was at uh, 10,000 feet and it was cold. I had to put on a hoodie, I had to make hot cocoa with whiskey, and now here I am, two days later, standing naked at the side of the road, wallowing in a mud pit, and it's too hot. Okay, well, as nice as these hot springs were to soak in. They really are too hot for a day like today. And I just saw another van roll up. So I think I'm gonna go for a little walk. I'm curious to see where this little path leads. I mean, it's so well trodden that it must go someplace cool. And my hope is maybe it leads someplace literally cool, like a cool pond or even better, a cold creek. Oh, we're not that far from the Colorado River, <laughs> the Colorado River. Uh, we're not right on it, but it'd be nice if there was like a little tributary or something up here that I could <sighs> take a quick dip in because that would feel amazing. I don't know though, this uh, path is just going farther and farther away from the hot springs and farther and farther away from the river. So I think I might be on kind of a fool's errand, but it's a beautiful day to take a walk in a bikini <laughs> with a beer uh, uh oh yikes whose scat do you suppose that is oh gosh i hope it's not a mountain lion yikers could be i mean if i was a mountain lion this would be the kind of place i would hang out all those plump juicy naked people in the hot spring to feast on you don't even have to worry about peeling them first just pop them in your mouth whole nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Huh, this kind of leads to another trail. This is like a mountain bike trail. A lot of tire tracks on it. And this way, well, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere wet or soakable. But this way, well, there is a kind of a trail leading back towards the hot spring, but it's higher up. So it'll take us above the hot spring. And maybe there's another pool on the hill above the ones I soaked in. You know, don't they say third time's the charm? First one was too hot. Second one was too hot. Well, maybe this third one will be just right. Oh, yikes, more scat. You know, a little known fact about ranch water is it's more effective than bear spray. That's right. If you drink enough ranch water, well, you don't even care if a bear mauls you. Okay, well... I guess there's no other hot spring pools here other than those two. And to be fair, I guess I kind of did go in three pools. Remember that big one was kind of divided into two. So the last one was way too hot. The middle one was too hot. And the first one was kind of too hot. So I'm not really sure how that works out Goldilocks wise, but this is definitely a hot spring for cooler weather. I would totally come back here in the winter time. I would totally come here in the fall. Oh my God, it'd be beautiful in the fall. And I'd come back here in the spring. There's no weird muddy roads or anything to worry about. So you could come out here any time of year. It's right off a paved highway. 
you're just kind of crazy if you do it at a time of year like this. Okay, there's the trail we came up here. So we should be coming right up to the hillside above the hot springs. So we'll have to go back into crocodile hunter mode. We'll peer through the grasses and see if anyone has arrived to soak in the hot pools. Oh wait, there is somebody in one of the pools. I'm in full on croc hunter mode. And I can see there's a bald guy sitting in the big pool. Curses. Well, I suppose I could just go down there and strike up a conversation with him. <laughs> or I could just Sasquatch on out of here and go find a cooler place to camp, man. I am heading up in elevation. I think I have a pretty cool campsite pinned and it's up pretty high and it should be pretty spectacular. Now there's no hot spring there, but there also aren't any strange bald dudes there as far as I know. Okay, it was just too hot to hang out in those hot springs anymore. I did walk back over there and I chatted with the guy who was soaking there and he's not, he wasn't creepy at all. I'm sorry I made that joke. He was a super nice guy. He just wanted to hang out and soak naked. Local dude, heat didn't seem to bother him. Chatted with him for a while and he was pretty interesting to talk to, but it was really hot and well, I knew the beautiful Colorado River was just down the road about a half a mile. And so I decided rather than hang out at a blistering hot hot spring and sweating my you know what's off, I'd come down here to the edge of the uh, river. There's a boat launch ramp that I just kind of came to. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill my shower bag up with river water so that when I get to where I'm camping tonight, I can wash my hair because it's pretty funky. Like I said earlier, I haven't taken a shower in several days and well, it could use a good washing. I've only used this thing a time or two, but it does work. You just fill it up with uh, water and then you leave it out in the sun in this black bag and it warms up, it gets nice and hot. And then it's got a spray attachment on it with a foot pump. <laughs> so you can take a shower no matter where you are. There. Now I got a full bag of water. When I get to wherever it is that I camp tonight, I'll treat myself and wash my hair. But, well now that I'm down here by the side of the beautiful Colorado River, well it just seems silly not to at least go for a quick skinny dip in full view of I-70. I'm not gonna do it at the bottom of the boat ramp though. Gotta have some class. I'll come over here to one of these little tiny private sandy beaches. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I got my own private little sandy beach right on the edge of the Colorado River, <laughs> right off the interstate. Seriously though, this has to be one of the most beautiful stretches of interstate I've ever seen. I mean, I can't think of too many places along I-15 where I'd want a skinny dip. Although I can think of one. Ha, ah, nothing like skinny dipping in full view of the Walmart driver. <laughs> Hope I don't cause any accidents. Ooh, yeah, that feels nice and cool. Oh, kind of murky, muddy bottom. I bet it gets real deep out there in the middle. I gotta be careful, it's probably a steep drop off. That's okay, I'm really just here for a quick wallow. Oh, oh my gosh, it is cold. Ooh wee. Ah, oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, I've done a lot of weird things in my day, but this has to be at least in the top five. Skinny dipping right off the interstate. Man, I wish I would have just brought my beer over here. I mean, yeah, there's road noise, but I don't know, that's kind of like white noise. I could drown it out. Although the train does come by on the other side of the river there. Matter of fact, earlier this morning, I was soaking in another hot spring on the same river with the same train going by. And I, well, I flashed the uh, Union Pacific engineer full frontal. So wouldn't it be funny if the same 
same train came by. I know that's not how that works, but well, what if I had to lay over on a siding somewhere up north and it just now came down this way and I stood up and flashed the same guy again. Oh my God. He would think he was uh, seeing double or having some kind of <laughs> weird hallucinations. Boop, boop. I can't believe none of these truckers are pulling on the air horn. Uh, they really can't see me down here, to be honest. I'm kind of tucked away. That's what's nice about this little beach. It really is just tucked away under these grasses <laughs> right off the highway. There. Uh, found an awesome place to camp at 8,000 feet on top of a friggin' mountain, which means I also have cell signal. Woo! I kind of tucked my rig back in the bushes there, but there's a whole big flattish area to camp on, big stone firing, and pretty much 360 degree views. I'll be honest though, I passed a couple campsites coming up that had spectacular views, but no cell signal. So I came all the way up here because I got to take care of some business. Anyway, uh, I put my shower bag there on the hood of the car to catch the last rays of the sun. It's already six o'clock, so. Well, the water's probably not gonna heat up that much, but I'm hoping it warms up at least a little bit so that I can wash it before I go to bed with that cool, clean-ish Colorado River water. <laughs> Ah, so much better. Well, I'm probably gonna have to wash it again with city water to get it really clean. But for now, it'll do. Washed by the waters of the Colorado River and dried by the Colorado mountain breeze. Woohoo! I feel amazing.